Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Today, I'm actually really, you know, I, I always have fun making these videos for you guys when I'm, especially when I'm showing you stuff that I personally really, really use a lot and love. Like this, the Sampletron by ikmultimedia.com. Um, I, you know, I will vouch for ikmultimedia.com. Everything that I buy with them, which has been quite a bit of things, I've spent a lot of money with them. Um, <laughs> everything I buy, I love and I use a lot, you know, they're very good at giving you accurate descriptions and everything works just like they describe it. So let's talk about the Sampletron today. Um, you're going to notice that my head is turned to the side because I'm having severe neck problems. Anyway, <laughs> um, Sampletron is exactly what it sounds like. They have gone around and sampled a bunch of awesome vintage keyboards. Um, you know, if you're like me, obviously, you know, I have my Hammond and my Rhodes. I love vintage keyboards, love the sound, and um, but you know, don't have all the money that I you know could use to buy all these keyboards, don't have the space for all of them, so that's where stuff like Sampletron comes in play. Um, I'm just using my M-Audio key station today. So you know, this sets up just like any other uh, MIDI instrument on GarageBand, really, really simple to um, install it and get it running on GarageBand. So let's start with the most famous sound that most of you should recognize and why I bought it, really. Right? I mean, come on. That's <laughs> that, that's worth it. All the money that I spent, it's worth it just for this one sound. I love it, you know? Um, come on. Awesome. Uh, so that's the, the flute sound. It has ch uh, choir sounds. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, the cellos are actually pretty nice. I do like these a lot. Right? Very, very nice uh, vintage sounding. And remember, these are all real recordings that were done, you know, in the 60s when they were making uh, the Mellotrons. And if you don't know what a Mellotron is, um, it, you know, it's the famous keyboard from Beatles, uh, Strawberry Fields Forever. Uh, lots of different, you know, Beach Boys used them. Lots of people still do use them. But the thing that made them so interesting was that each key on the Mellotron was connected to its own individual tape loop. Um, this is pre-synthesizer, you know what I mean? It's like pre-computers, all that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> each key had its own individual tape loop. So, you know, there was just one loop after the other. So, you know, I don't know exactly how many keys. I'd say maybe 64 keys. I'm pulling that number out of the air. Um, but tons of tape loops. So it was a really interesting mechanical machine. Um, so they, you know, would go around and record all these cool sounds. And then you could take these racks of tapes out and then put in a new rack of tapes for a whole new sound like this one. Here's the vibes. Come on. Awesome, cool, vintage vibe sounds. Uh, woodwinds are good as well. Nice and warbly, you know. I definitely like sounds that are warbly. Um, now, the other thing that's on here that I was actually very surprised that they took the time because the Optagon um, was, as far as I know, the only musical instrument to be advertised on television in the 1970s. The thing that was so interesting for it, for me was that I actually had one of these as a kid. My dad bought it at Sears. And um, we had it for years. I had it in my original recording studio and I sold it like an idiot, but I needed the money at the time. But the Optagon was a very cool toy that had loops, you know, so all sorts of different loops. And they all have that nice scratchy quality to it. So you get that sort of vintage ambience, you know. Um, it's sort of ironic, you know, or it's funny because, you know, in the old days, they were desperately trying to get rid of that sound, like all the hissing and all the popping and stuff. And now, you know, 2012, this is the kind of stuff that a lot of engineers like to put back in to sort of give it that authenticity. Um, <laughs> it's sort of funny, but it's true. I, I love the hiss. I love the tape sound. Thank you. 
I don't know what I would ever do with it, but I certainly love having it. <laughs> so anyway, so those are just some of the silly loops. There are actually some usable loops. Um, drum loops, for example. You know, I love sort of imagining all these 60s musicians in the 60s sitting around and recording these things. Very cool. Um, now, the other thing I do really like about the Optagon sounds is the Hammond sound. And speaking as an, a Hammond owner, like... You know, that's actually very accurate. Um, it is a real recording of a real Hammond. Um, so that's what, you know, the sampler is so good at. So let me just give you a quick, uh, what else? Rare tape effects. These aren't, you know, I, I still haven't found uses for everything. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what I would do. You know, if you're the kind of person who's looking for like cool tape effects, um, this is a good thing to get. The vocoder is also interesting. Um, you know. So that's a basic overview of just the sounds. Now I can also tell you that you can combine these sounds. You can layer them up to eight uh, layers and you can save all these kinds of things. Actually, maybe it's 16. I, I believe it's 16 that you can layer. Um, so, you know, you can layer uh, an Optagon sound with... Um, a Mellotron sound or whatever combinations you'd like. Then across the keyboard itself here um, on the on the screen, you know, you do have EQs, you know, low gain up to high gain. There's a compressor, there's a pre-gain knob and a master volume and uh, a pan left and right. You can also switch um, from mono to poly to legato. Um, all sorts of, you know, ways to manipulate these sounds on here. Um, it's very easy, intuitive program to use. So it's very easy to sort of sit here and experiment with. You know, I use that word a lot. And so <laughs> I love Sampletron because it's very easy to experiment with it. Um, as soon as you click on it, you know, it works. There's no loading time or anything like that. And it works seamlessly with GarageBand, Pro Tools, Logic, Mac, or PC. Um, you know, it goes on everything. And like, you know, like I often do, I'm just trying to give you an, a, a you know, relatively fast overview of um, what it sounds like and, you know, give it my own personal endorsement is something that I really, really do use all the time. Like you can hear this on um, Cast This on the Sunshine Superman PA channel. This is that keyboard sound. Like there's like a really simple quarter note keyboard thing happening during the choruses. That's the Sampletron. Um, and it was the perfect thing to add in that moment. Um, now, you know, so like I said, just a quick overview from me. There is all the nitty gritty detail from IK Multimedia is on the website below. Click that link if you want all the like full details. Of course, I will try to answer as many of the questions that you guys will inevitably post under this video. Um, so feel free to do that and I'll answer what I can. But if you know, if you can take the time, go over to IK Multimedia and check that out. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, make sure you sign the mailing list at garagebandandbeyond.com. I'm giving away stuff every month. So sign the mailing list. Also, there's a link below. Uh, I think that is it for now. I'm going to go rest because my back is freaking out. I'll talk to you later. See you guys.